What's up guys, today we're on a quest to buy the cheapest Supermoto on Facebook Marketplace. We're looking at a 2023 Kawasaki KLX 230 Supermoto. Um, these things are pretty new. They haven't been on the market that long. It's only got like 800 miles on it. We're trying to get it for less than $3,000 while these bikes are $5,500 MSRPs. So let's hope we can get a good deal here. Let's hope everything goes smooth and that this seller isn't hiding anything fishy from us. Uh, let's go see what this is all about. We're driving there right now. Got about a 40, 45 minute drive and uh, I'll catch you guys there. Hey, VJ, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, dude. Sweet, yeah, this is awesome. I used to have the 300 SL. Oh, really? And I sold it and I like regretted it. Yeah. It was my second bike and I was like, I love these little super motos. They're just a lot of fun. Sweet. I mean, Do you mind if I just ride on the cold yeah, stack right here? Okay, cool. Let's make sure it shifts good. If you want to count that and check that out. Yeah. Yeah. I wish more of the manufacturers made them. I think Kawasaki's like the only one doing the smaller ones right now. All right, guys, we just got the bike. Here it is. KLX 230 Supermoto, arguably the cheapest Supermoto on Facebook Marketplace. Got it for only $2,900 only had 880 miles on it practically a brand new bike uh, pretty great shape good tires hasn't been laid down um, time to drive back home though and uh, get this bike there if we hop on Kawasaki's website and we go over to Supermoto should be over here KLX 230 and you can either get this bike in dirt form or supermoto form. So if we build in price, you can see how much these go for. Let's see if we can find it. Try to keep this in frame. What, do they not have SM? Let's go back, they got, oh there it is. Look at this guys, so for the new year, these 230 SMs are going for how much are these things? $5,600 MSRP. That's crazy. That is nuts. Wow. And we just paid $2,900. So I feel like it's a pretty great deal because if you go to a dealer and try to buy one of these 230 SMs, you're probably going to be looking at over $7,000 out the door after freight setup taxes all of that stuff so i think we're good at 2900 i'm excited to bring it home let's go swing a leg over it and uh, really get to test it out some more i'm really excited to test out this 230 because i used to have the klx 300 the big brother sm and i absolutely loved this bike when did i buy that i bought that november 7th of 2022 so it's been like a year and a half I guess what's so a year and yeah coming up on a year and a half since I bought one of these 300 supermotos absolutely love this bike I paid $4,900 so we paid $2,000 less for the 230 so I'm wondering if the um, 300 is worth the extra price we're gonna really test out the 230 and see if you should just save your money get the 230 or save up a little bit more and just get the 300 all right guys, here it is, 2023 Kawasaki KLX 230 Supermoto, uh, 800, like 87 miles. Really excited to ride this bike around. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun to just rip around town. Um, looks to be in pretty good condition. It's got uh, some nice grips, uh, aftermarket mirrors, some little hand guards for aesthetics pretty much. Um, and I was shocked that they even had Showa suspension on such a cheap budget Supermoto. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's unload it right now and then check it out. It's so nice to see that Kawasaki 
is offering these low displacement supermotos. Because um, really, we have Suzuki with the DRZ400, but that's kind of a different price uh, bracket. And then Kawasaki has the 300, but Honda and Yamaha don't have any supermotos right now. Yamaha used to have the WR250X, which is honestly one of my favorite supermotos. I haven't had a chance to own one. I own the R, the off-road version, but the X is just a super cool bike. And um, kind of similar to this bike, but definitely a lot better, the, the WR250X. Don't slip here. And there it is. The 230 is a really good beginner supermoto because it's so short. Yeah, that's a good size. The 300, I remember being a little bit taller because I can completely flat foot this bike. And then a lot of other supermotos, when you start to go to like KTM 690, Husqvarna 701, those bikes are really big and heavy, while this is just super nimble. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll show you guys the dash real quick. Pretty simple dash. Um, turn that blinker off. <clears throat> so we got 887 miles. We got a fuel gauge that's nice to have. A lot of these smaller bikes don't have fuel gauges. Got a clock, odometer, speedo. And I forgot if that's a gear indicator or not. Let's see if we click it into first, see what it does. Oh yeah, kickstands on. Kickstands down, I mean. So that's a safety feature. Let's fire it back up. I don't think these have a gear indicator though. Let's see, we'll put that kickstand up and uh, put it into first. Yeah, no gear indicator, sadly. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys have seen any cheaper, you know, new super motos on the market. I'd be uh, curious to know because I feel like I did pretty good getting this for $2,900. But I know there's always good deals out there. So let me know what you guys have seen out there. And uh, comment down below what videos you want to see with the KLX 230 super moto. And I'll try to make it happen. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and be on the lookout for more videos.